I apologize in advance if I sound a bit smug in this video because it is such an I told you so moment. Remember last week when we talked about OpenAI's upcoming open weight model in this video? We have got an update. Sam Altman announced that they are delaying the release to run additional safety tests and review what he called high risk areas and that is the topic of this video. Now before even we dive into this, I want to be fair here. This is actually OpenAI's first attempt at releasing an open weight model since GPT-2 back in 2019. So there are probably genuine challenges they are working through that we might not fully appreciate from the outside. So in this video, we are going to look at what this delay might actually mean, why open weight releases are different from API deployments and where this fits in the broader landscape of AI development. So let's try to understand objectively and reasonably what's really going on here. So let's start with Sam's reasoning here, which is half, I would say makes sense, half it doesn't. He mentioned that they need time for safety tests because once weights are out, they cannot be pulled back. And honestly, that's fair point. And I think it gets overlooked in a lot of discussions about open weight models. When you release a model through an API, you maintain control. You can update the safety filters, modify responses, or even shut it down if something goes wrong. But when you release the actual weights, you're reasonably giving everyone a copy of your model that they can run however they want, wherever they want. Now, I'm not saying that their safety concerns are necessarily about world ending scenarios. It's probably more practical stuff, making sure that the model doesn't have obvious failure modes, ensuring it behaves reasonably across different use cases, and yes, probably making sure it, al it aligns with their content policies. The challenge for OpenAI is that they have never had to think about this before. All their models since GPT-2 have been behind APIs where they could control the experience. Moving to open weights is generally different territory for them. That said, the timing is interesting, very interesting. DeepSeek released R1, Kimi released K2, Alibaba is showering us with Quen, and there are a lot of other Chinese companies which are releasing models left, right and center and they are performing really well. And most of these companies are moving fast in the open source space. So there's definitely pressure to get this right first time. Now, having said that, there could be larger issues in play here. And there could be a lot of possibilities. For example, you know, there is a strong sense in the community that the model isn't as good as they hoped. When you are OpenAI and you haven't released open weights since 2019, your first model back needs to make a statement. If it's just pretty good compared to what's already available, that's actually worse for your reputation than not releasing anything. Second possibility could be around business complications because Microsoft has exclusive rights to OpenAI's model through their partnership and open weight release potentially undermines that exclusivity. Maybe they are dealing with legal or contractual issues they didn't anticipate. Third possibility could be around licensing headaches. They probably want to release their um, this under some kind of restricted license that make it open but protect their commercial interest. Figuring all of these takes time, especially when you're trying to balance developer goodwill with business reality. And of course, there is always a competitive pressure, which I mentioned earlier. Another thing which I believe could be in play here is that OpenAI has a track record of overpromising and under delivering on timelines. This isn't the first time Sam has announced something that gets delayed for vague reasons. Remember the GPT-4 hype cycle, the O3 announcement, the pattern is always the same. Big announcement, massive hype, then really doesn't quite match the expectation. Either the model isn't as revolutionary as promised or the timeline slips significantly. This open weight model was supposed to be OpenAI's return to their open source roots. 
Sam specifically said it would come in the coming months, back in March. Now we are getting that classic not sure how long it is going to take. The problem with crying wolf on safety concerns is that it makes it harder to take further safety concerns seriously. If you use safety as a generic excuse for delays, what happens when you have actually safety issues that need attention? I'm not saying OpenAI is intentionally misleading people, but their communication strategy definitely needs work. Either be more conservative with their initial timelines or be more transparent about what's actually causing it. Meanwhile, the open source AI world has moved on without them and I already talked about Kimi2 which you can check out here in this video and I'm sure you are going to be blown away with this amazing model. Now, my take on all of this is that delay is probably a combination of factors with safety being the maybe somewhat important one despite getting top billing in the announcement. They are likely dealing with business complications, competitive pressures and the reality that releasing open weights is harder than they thought when you have built your entire strategy around closed models. Will they eventually release something? Yes, of course. Will it be worth the wait? That depends on your expectations. If you are hoping for something revolutionary that changes everything, you will probably be disappointed. If you just want another solid option in the open ecosystem, it might be fine. The biggest question is whether this becomes a pattern for OpenAI, do they become a regular contributor to open development or is this a one-off attempt to improve their reputation? My guess is we'll see the model eventually, but it won't be the game changer some people are hoping for. It will become competent, probably well engineered, but not revolutionary. And that's okay. The open ecosystem benefits from having more options. And if they're not all breakthrough innovations, that's even fine too. The real test for OpenAI isn't whether this particular model is amazing. It's whether they can figure out how to contribute meaningfully to open development while maintaining their business. And honestly, I'm not sure they have figured that out yet. And that is just a conjecture at the moment. Until then, I think we are going to just wait and see. But fortunately, there's plenty of other innovations happening in the open source AI space to keep things very much alive and interesting. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you will find the link to their website in video's description. Please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.